Hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download a NDBI image using Landsat 8 in Google Earth Engine. So NDBI here refer, refers to Normalized Difference Buildup Index. So Normalized Difference Buildup Index. The Normalized Difference Buildup Index is commonly used as a spectral index derived from Landsat 8 imagery to quantify the buildup or urban areas in an image. The NDBI value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 with the different ranges representing the different land cover types. Here the general guidelines for interpreting NDBI value in Landsat 8 image. The negative value from minus 1 to 0, the value typically represents non buildup or natural areas such as water bodies, vegetation and bare soil and lower the value, the less, li less likely to be a buildup. The value close to 0, the value around 0 indicates the transition zone between buildup and non buildup areas. It can represent the area with the mixed urban and natural features. The positive value that is a 0 to plus 1, the positive NDBI value generally corresponds to build up or urban areas with a higher value indicating the higher degree of urbanization. Closer to the value is to plus 1 is more likely to be a, a densely build up areas. So now let me get back to Earth Engine. So to download the uh, NDBI image in uh, Google Earth Engine, first we have to import our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So for that we define a variable called L8 that is Landsat 8 equals to double e dot image collection Landsat collection 8 uh, collection 1 LC uh, Landsat collection 1 tire 1 top of the atmosphere and to get the uh, least cloud contaminated image uh, for that we define a variable called image 2020 equals to double e dot image L8 dot filter bound points so we are using point data in order to uh, download uh, download Landsat 8 image of this particular study region so for that we are using a, a point data so to use a point data we have to just click this option called uh, add a place marker and click the click this area and your uh, data will be indicated here so now let me turn this uh, variable name to a point so I will convert this geometry to a geometry name to a point so now I have converted to point, uh, point uh, converted as a point now it is indicated the latitude and longitude here. So now uh, to filter with a specific study region we used L8 dot filter bound. L8 here refers to a Landsat 8 image dot filter bound we are using the point data. So next we are using specific time period that is dot filter bar date 2020 January 1 and uh, 2020 December 31st and sort cloud cover. So it, the, this specific function will give, uh, give, uh, give us an image with the least cloud contaminated image dot first here refers to the first image which uh, which contains the least cloud contaminated image so for that we are using this first image first function so next to compute the normalized difference build up index so we are using the variable b6 so we are actually referring to band 6 of landsat 8 image so for that we are using variable b6 equals to image 2020 dot select b6 that is bands, uh, band 6 of uh, landsat 8 image and similarly we have defined a variable called b5 that is band 5 of landsat 8 image equals to image 2020 dot select band 5 that is b5 here refers to band 5 in landsat 8 image so next we have to perform our algorithm that is normalized difference build up index now let me show you the formula so now you can visualize the formula for ndbi that is short wave infrared minus nar divided by short wave infrared plus nar so now let me show you the bands. This is band 6 minus band 5 divided by band 6 plus band 5. So this is Landsat 8 image of band details. So here you can visualize here the short wave infrared that is band 6 minus NIR that is band 5. So band 6 here represents short wave infrared and band 5 here represents near infrared. So here the short wave infrared that is band 6 minus band 5 divided by band 6 plus band 5. So similarly, we defined a variable called uh, NDBI that is Normalized Difference Buildup Index 2020 equals to band 6 minus band 5 and divided by band 6 plus band 5 and renamed as NDBI that is Normalized Difference Buildup Index. So B6 dot subtract B5 dot divide B6 dot add B5 dot rename NDBI that is B6 minus B5 divided by b6 plus b5 so now to display this result we are using map.center object image 2020.9 here comma 9 here represents the zoom level 
So we defined a variable called ndbi param equals to we set a minimum value of minus 1 and to a maximum value of plus 1. The color palettes here used are red, yellow and blue. The color palettes we are using is red, yellow and blue. Now to add this layer into earth engine we defined map.addLayer ndbi2020 ndbi param refers to our visualization parameter that is uh, shown here and output the layer name as ndbi image 2020 and now to export this drive that is to download this uh, ndbi image from google earth engine we are using export to drive so export dot image to drive image ndbi 2020 dot in 16 function description ndbi ndbi image 2020 with the spatial resolutions that is over 30 meters and the region is point and the max pixel we set to a max pixel of 1 is to 10 power 13. So now let us run this code and visualize our image. So go to this option called run script and click run script. So now we have our image in our background. So you can visualize here. So now you can visualize here. Let me turn to a satellite image. Let me turn this image off. So this is overall the build-up areas. So these are the build-up areas. Let me turn this NDBI image. So now you can able to visualize here. So now you can clearly able to visualize this is our airport in the study region. So let me turn this turn off and show you. This is an airport. These are the different settlement that is observed in this study region. So now let me turn this layer on. So I will show the color, color sequence here. So we have used red, yellow and green. Here the red represents the non-urban areas and green represents the urban areas. So that is close to the value, positive value, positive plus value indicates the urban areas and negative value indicates the non-urban areas. So now let me get back to this image. So here we can clearly able to visualize the different settlements has been highlighted in green color so you can uh, clearly able to view that so the settlements has been uh, different build up areas the urban areas has been clearly highlighted in green color and similarly the airport has also been highlighted here so one settlement has been highlighted in this sort of that is in green color and similarly here let me turn this layer off so now we can visualize it so you can also visualize in this part of the region let me turn this off so all the build-up area has been clearly highlighted in this color that is in uh, green color it is highlighted. So in this video I have shown you how to download the NDBI image using Landsat 8 in Google Earth Engine. So and also uh, go to this option called uh, task section. So where the image is uh, there is an option uh, called unsubmitted task where you can able to visualize the NDBI image of 2020. That is normalized difference build-up index image of 2020. So to download this uh, NDBI image from Google Earth Engine, click this option called Run. So now an image window has been popped up saying Initiate an image export. So with the task name is NDBI image of 2020, that is Normalized Difference Build-Up Index Image of 2020. The reference system, the coordinate reference system, the spatial resolution is around 30 meters. So we are uh, uploading to our drive where we can able to download our image. So this is our drive section, file name is uh, in NDBI and file format is in GeoTIFF, that is georeferenced uh, TIFF. So to uh, export or to download this image, click this option called Run. So now we can visualize in this uh, part of the area where it, uh, it will uh, give you the different information. So uh, we have our ID and uh, the face is submitted to our server and it will take around uh, of three or four minutes to complete this process let's wait for some time so now we can able to visualize here our ndbi image has been exported to our google drive so now from the google drive you can download this image and view in any gis software so in this video i've shown you how to download the ndbi image using lancet 8 image in google earth engine and the codes will be included in the description thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like